In this video, I would like to show you how to set up a genotyping analysis in the qPCR soft. The genotyping analysis is used, for example, to identify sequence differences between two alleles of a gene. The reference sequence is defined as the wild type. The genetic condition of the sample is to be determined in the experiment. Genotyping shows which alleles an individual has inherited from its parents. A demo data file of this analysis function is also available on the setup CD. In this demo data, we see that in the thermal cycler, we have a two-step protocol. And the two different genes or alleles are scanned by two different channels. In this case, the blue and orange channels with the dyes FAM and ROX. In the monitoring view, you will see the scanned data of the DNA amplification, where you can already judge the performance of the measurement and you can also already calculate the CT. For the genotyping analysis, you go to the tab Analysis and then choose the genotyping. And then you have to add a genotyping analysis, either via clicking to this icon or via the drop-down menu. Then you enter a name and press OK. Select the dyes for the wild type and the mutant. In this case, we have genotype 1 and 2. In this case, we have FAM and ROX and then the analysis results will appear. The threshold will automatically be set by the software, but can be adjusted manually by changing the value in the threshold box or pulling the threshold line up or down. For going back to the automatic threshold, you can use the icon in the toolbar. In the table below the graph, a variety of results are shown, including the CT values of the two genotypes, as well as the standard deviations. The tabs below the graph, in this case, genotype 1, genotype 2, and also the scatter plot, you will see the different curves and the scatter plot, which shows the different genotypes. The cutoff lines in this plot are adjustable by dragging the lines or changing the values in the boxes. Once the analysis is complete, the results can be exported in a number of ways. Right click on the graph and click copy chart to copy the graph image or select save chart to save the raw data of the fluorescence measurement. The results of the table can be exported to Excel via right-click onto the table and then select a saving of an XLS file or a CSV file. For a more detailed export of the results, you can create a print report. For this, you either click on the icon above or you use the drop-down menu via File and Print. On the left side, you will choose the different information that you want to have shown in the report and then you click to show report. Then you will have all the different setup informations and table that you selected and this information can then directly be printed or saved to a PDF. This brings me to the end of my tutorial on genotyping analysis.